So this morning we're chatting with Shamrock Rovers player Sean Cavanagh. Um, Sean, listen, how are you getting on? You're you're back playing a little bit of football. We can chat a little bit about your recovering from injury, but just you must be delighted to be able to out kick a ball around. I think you're out in Roadstone during the week as well. Yeah, um, yeah, it's great to be to be back, really. I suppose because obviously it's been a sort of long few weeks and months. Um, well, uh, even when you were injured, it was tough not seeing the lads and that that's so you you miss um you miss the bit of crack that you have with the lads and obviously you miss your football and you miss your daily routine as well so that was sort of taken away from us but yeah last week well monday just gone we got um we were back in so everyone was delighted to be back in and seeing each other and just can you talk us through the the injury was that something you picked up in the fbi cup final i think you needed surgery um, after um yeah, I, I I actually think I picked it up the week before in the court game at home, and I didn't yeah I didn't train at all the week leading up to the final. I had to get um, a couple of injections. I got one on the Thursday, and then um, on the Sunday when we we got to the Aviva, I got an injection just to try and get me through it. And I think it lasted 60, 60 min, 65 minutes, and then um, yeah, obviously it was a great day. And then a couple of weeks after the final, I went to see a specialist and he said yeah the cartilage had come off the bone of my knee and I needed a needed some surgery and was it how difficult was it to I'm sure there's a lot of uh, stuff you need to go through to get yourself back up and, and and going again was it more difficult during lockdown to to do that um as in rehab boys or yeah rehab boys yeah yeah um it was it was difficult obviously the physio tony mack was in contact with him quite a lot he was sending me stuff through to do um in the house but yeah it's tough it's it's a lot harder obviously because if you're in with him and in the physio room you can he can talk you through it and tell you exactly what you're doing whereas i know i was skype calling and skype calling the doc and i was a lot um a lot of the stuff I was doing was true Skype calls but yeah it is it's tough it's harder on your own just to know if you're actually doing it right is the is the hardest thing and the the thing is I don't know whether it, it meant you knew you weren't going to be playing there was no games I don't know whether it made it easier to be injured now and mm. actually when you get back up and running the football should be hopefully back and be able to get play or you know just trying to deal with that when everything else was happening I don't know whether you it was easier that way yeah, it probably was a little bit for me, to be honest. I've obviously been out a couple of months now and I think I've only missed five league games, which um, by now I would have missed a lot more. So I know it's, it's probably not a great thing to say, but for me, the last couple of months have been probably probably um, good for me, but not as good for the other lads. But look, it's, it's one of them things. Nobody wants this to happen and... I was the same, but I was just fortunate it happened when I was injured. And talk us through the the process. Uh, Monday morning, probably people saw, you saw the videos of, of the groups training in pods of five and, uh, you know, masks been worn and hand sanitizers. So you're probably traveling over to Roadstone in your gear. Um, yeah. And, and then it's getting temperature test and, and that type of thing. What's, what's, the, what's the process? Yeah, well, on Monday, we actually, we got tested as well so um yeah we went in just travel over in your training kit and um, we are boots in hand ready to go i suppose but you go in and um, get tested come out of the testing and um, then you go up to go up towards the pitch and um, like ready to go really um and then the physio tony mac will test their temperature he'll not note that all down and then we have to weigh in hand sanitize everything we do yeah you get a mask while they're walking up to the pitch and then um yeah train from there and then straight home really there's there's no messing around there's no hanging around and it's basically in and out as safe as you can but at least it's an opportunity for you to get to see the teammates and the the guys that are around rather than yeah on zoom calls and whatnot yeah, yeah exactly it's it was nice um to be back and like obviously it was five so you got to see four or five people and even the coaching staff that you haven't seen for a while and it was nice to catch up with them and like I said have a bit of a laugh as well while, while you are doing it. And the setup around Stone is probably actually quite good because it's 
maybe not all Rovers fans have been out there before, but uh, you know you have the car park. You can kind of come through, and it's it's uh, it's quite a large space. So people, you can have that. You're you're not kind of confined. So there's plenty of opportunity. You've got the the astro pitches and then the grass pitches beside it as well, with the gym outdoor gym as well. Yeah, there's um yeah there's there's a lot of space there. It's quite a big big area. So we um we parked our cars, came through the side entrance up up towards um the pitches. And then, um, yeah, it was basically straightforward from there. There was, like I said, there was no messing around. It was, we're lucky in that sort of sense that it is quite a big area and there's the Astro Tough pitch and there's the, the grass pitch and then there's the gym area um, outside, which is all safe to use. So, yeah, it was nice to be back. And you got a chance to kick a ball around as well, which is probably something you've really been dying to do because you probably yeah. haven't had that opportunity over, only over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been a couple of months since I was um, kicking a ball around, so it was nice to be back out there doing doing a bit of running and kicking a ball around and just being out in the fresh air. And um, It was hard, like, but it was nice to be back out there, so, yeah, it, w- it was nice. Well, I'm jealous of you. You're living in Rings End, so you can you can see the sea. It was outside of my two-kilometre yeah. zone initially and whatever, but were you out doing kind of walks down Sandy Mount Strand and um, parking a little bit over that time? Yeah, just sort of out and about walking. Obviously, um, I have a young son as well, so just trying to keep him occupied was was probably the hardest thing in lockdown for me. So, um, yeah, how old is he? Uh, he's five. Okay. So yeah, uh, he's he's full of energy. He's bundles of energy. So trying to keep him occupied and tire him out, um, as soon as I can, so he go to sleep at night. That was probably the hardest thing for me to do. And uh, talking to Rings End, it's like we Rovers sign a player from Rings End, and we finally win a cup after thirty-two years. So are you you claiming the uh, the impetus for that, maybe? Yeah, that's what I said. You probably should have just signed me a couple of years ago, so <laughs> I could have brought the cup earlier. But now is um, obviously I'm from there, and you can see the Aviva from from my house, and it was just a great occasion for me and all the Rovers fans and everyone um, connected with Rovers. It was a great day. And you probably had to end up bringing the cup round to many of uh, the pubs and maybe the clubs around uh, Rings End over the over the while, last while. Yeah, well, probably a couple of weeks after the cup final, the Pride of Rings End, they organised um, their like Christmas night with the cup and did a bit of a pub crawl and had a few drinks. So, and then I brought it to my old uh, primary school where where my son is in now. So, yeah, it was nice just to sort of bring it around and show it off and stuff like that and yeah people I think people really enjoyed it and the 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 top four tournament that that the you know Bowes, Derry, Dundalk and Rovers are are moving towards uh, it's a bit unsure where it might be played but it might actually be played in the Viva Stadium it might be another game where you get to yeah. uh, st- stroll from your house up to play a match in you know yeah it'll be like um the under 10 days I think I'll just have my gear my boots and my bag and walk up to the pitch and get ready at the side of the pitch but now it'll be It'll be nice if it's held in the Aviv. Obviously, we don't know exactly where it is, but if it is there, it'll be it'll be nice to play there again. And just finally, in terms of your timeline for for getting back to to games, if if games are happening in uh, you know towards the end of July, I presume you're hoping you'll be able to to go straight in. Yeah, if it's end of July, I'm I'm hoping to be back fully fit and ready to go by then. So, um, if it does come around, then hopefully I'll I'll be good to go. All right, Sean, listen, thanks a million for your time and best of luck with the uh, no. recovery. We look forward to seeing you and your teammates back on the pitch uh, sometime soon. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, McDonald. Super. Thanks, Emil. Bye bye.